Hi, art friends. So I wanted to go through and do a little bit of a plaster art tutorial. I had posted a TikTok a long time ago and it's gotten a ton of views and I realized I still had a lot of the raw footage. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a voiceover. So what you see me doing here is I'm applying a joint compound and this one is I believe the brand is easy fill it's like certain teed easy fill drywall compound and it's the one with the blue lid so I'm just gonna go through and use one of these plastic putty knives to get it as smooth as possible and honestly like I feel like this would be really pretty just to leave it like that and paint it white or whatever color goes with your room. But I want to show you like how I use a different kind of putty knife, like a toothed one, to do some arches and some fun designs. Sorry if my voice is a little bit hoarse. I think I'm coming down with something. It is that time of the year. This process is like so therapeutic. Um, it, I really had a lot of fun with this like DIY sort of minimalist all, wall art that is super trendy right now. Okay, so now we're going in with a square teeth putty knife, I think it is. Just kidding, it's an adhesive spreader, and the brand is Richards. I got it from Rona, um, and I actually had talked to the store clerk when I got there because I didn't know what I was doing, and I told her what I wanted to do, and she had made uh, a recommendation for this. But I think if I was to do this and sell these pieces, I would get a ceramic trowel with like a handle, um, but for what I was doing, just as like a little DIY, these were perfect and they were easy to clean. Um, I did a few different pieces. So you're just going to kind of take your time and play around. Um, at this point, like nothing's permanent. So just have fun with it. Go slow. I had used an old canvas that I had painted on. Um, so you can kind of see that coming through, but we are going to paint it with like a matte paint. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make your own matte paint. So once you're happy with your design, you're going to let it dry. I think I let it dry for like two or three days. Um, you want it to be completely dry before you paint it. So now I'm going in and I don't really know the ratios. I just did it to um, like to get the effect I wanted, but I'm just mixing the Artist Loft's white acrylic paint with baking soda. And then I'm adding a little bit of this terracotta color. More white. I just go back and forth. I want to say like if I had to think of ratios, it would be about a cup of acrylic paint to I want to say a quarter cup of baking soda. And you're going to want to mix that in really well. Um I ended up adding a little bit more terracotta because I wanted it a bit darker. So yeah, just acrylic paint, baking soda. 
this was actually super satisfying. I had never made like a matte paint before. And I think that definitely helps elevate these textured pieces. I wish I had done white, but I was feeling this like sort of terracotta boho color. And then, yeah, you're just going to go through and you're going to paint it all. So the paint is really going to help bring out the texture. The actual compound tries to be like a very, very, I want to say like an ivory white, not quite like a bright white. So you could probably even leave it just like that and it would still be really pretty. I actually want to go and do one in like a kind of a muted green. Green is my favorite color and I think that would be really pretty. It would kind of go with my bedroom. And then I get a lot of questions about whether or not these pieces cracked. Um, and they didn't. I did these, I want to say, about a year ago. And they're still perfectly fine. And they didn't spend that whole year on my wall. Like, I kind of shift my artwork because I am an artist as well. So things get moved around. They get stored. Um, and these are still perfectly fine. I want to upload this video to YouTube right away, um, but I am going to fill out the info box <laughs> um, and I'll try to link everything that I use just so it's easy to find. But I got everything from Rona, um, aside from the paint and the panels, which I got from Michaels. If you're like really balling on a budget, you could probably go to a secondhand store and get some old paintings from them and just plaster right over those. It's a really cool way to like upcycle, I guess, old panels. I had a bunch of these like practice panels lying around. And once you're happy, just let the paint dry. <laughs> 
and there is the finished product. I'm super happy with the way they turned out and it was a lot of fun.